If you imagine a world where everything touched by an artist suddenly disappears, then you recognize that any artist makes a difference. So making art really does make a difference and it transforms the world in terms of making it more beautiful, more comfortable, more alive, more visually pleasing, uh, better designed, more thoughtful, just across the board. I think initially when a student enters art school for an art, art education, they're looking at becoming a visual artist and that's perfectly reasonable. But once you find that visual art is going to force you to engage your eye, your mind, your head, your spirit, yourself, your psyche, then you recognize that an art school education really allows you to be a creative person in any act of, of life. My name is Gary Gaffney and I'm a professor at the Art Academy of Cincinnati. Hello! I've been chasing you around while the sun was My um, major is illustration and I'm a freshman. I don't know any, of any other kind of education where you're going to get to learn to think critically, to write, to read critically, to paint, to draw, to use every tool in the wood shop, to weld, to blow glass, and who knows what else. I was always making like little sculptures out of straws and like stuff like that, and all through high school, um, I got really good grades, but the only class that I wanted to, the only thing I wanted to do after high school was be an artist, so lately I've been working for a taxidermist, so I've kind of chose to go that direction and been stuffing a lot of animals and using them in sculptural pieces and installations, and then the end result will be photos and installations together. I want to go to Ecuador after I graduate. Um, to do ceramics. I'm originally from Gainesville, Florida, but I've lived in Cincinnati for three years. So it's kind of become my hometown. I'm Lillian Nelson, I'm a freshman. The more conservative members of my family kind of like have that generic idea of what art school is. Art schools, you know, it's not really school. It's like pretty much going to Ivy Tech. It's horrible. It's a bad idea. Artists are all starving and poor. None of that's true. It's a complete stereotype. <laughs> Coming to the Art Academy or you know, like a private art school in general, I could focus on what's most important when it comes to the creative industries, which is the process of creating work and the process of you know, culturing yourself uh, to become an artist, to live that lifestyle, to I guess talk the talk and walk the walk, eat, sleep, and breathe it. It's been really beneficial to me. I think it's a uh, definitely cultured me for the directions that I'll take for the rest of my life and uh, you know, really assuming the role of an artist in my career. This is my first year at the Art Academy and my major is visual communications, uh, graphic design. Um, I'm 21 years old, female. My uh, hometown is Dayton, Ohio, 50 miles north of here. And uh, that's it. I already have an associate's degree, but I decided that that wasn't enough and that I needed to move down south to further my education a little bit more because having the painting experience, the sculpture experience, the photography experience is just going to make me that much stronger. 
I'm good at drawing and um, making things simplified and changing things, um, improvising. So this comp just kind of helps me express myself in that way. You're learning to be a creative person who has a personal vision and you can act on the world in that creative way. And as a result, you've got a skill that's valued across the board. 